Let's talk about the Panasonic G9 one year later. Hey everybody, Kwame here, and today I want to do a year in review of what I think of the Panasonic G9. Uh, like I said, I've owned it a year, and this is not like a review, uh, you know, is it still good in 2020? I already put out a video about that, I'll leave it linked somewhere around here. But this is more about, you know, what do I think of this camera after using it a year? What am I, how am I feeling about it still? Especially since I have the two Sony cameras. So just as a recap, the Panasonic G9 is a micro four thirds, 20 megapixel or 20, 20.3 megapixel sensor camera. It can shoot 4K video and it can do 80 megapixel images. More on that in a little bit. So overall, you know, just to spoiler alert, I still love this camera. It is my, out of the three cameras I own, it's my favorite camera, even though I don't use it as much. And we'll talk about that here also, but this is still my favorite camera. So let's talk about some cons here. The one main con I have with this camera is the, and it's not even like this camera's fault. It's Panasonic in general. They have a focus breathing issue. So what I'm, what I mean about that is when you are focusing on uh, something, let's say it's focusing on my face in the corners, you'll see it like focusing in and out, making sure it's in focus. It's almost like, am I still in focus? Yep. Okay. Just checking. You still in focus? Yep. Still checking. And it does that a lot. And that's a little annoying. Now they've done several updates. In fact, they just put out a, a version 2.2 update back in August, which I didn't see. So I just updated it today. I haven't played with it to see if it's still doing the focus breathing issue, but that is one one annoyance of this camera but again it's not just this camera it's pretty much all Panasonic cameras the other con for some people could be the size this camera is pretty beefy it's bigger than my Sony a7 II which is a full frame camera I mean that's a that's saying something and this is a micro four-thirds camera which is like the opposites of each other However, I absolutely love that about this camera. I love the size of it. Uh, as you can see here, I put a grip on uh, on, on here and I, I absolutely love the size. So uh, those are my only two cons about this camera after a year of using it. Now I will say I'm probably not the, I, I use this camera, but I don't, I don't play with the settings as much as I wish I, I did. And that's one thing I really want to you do more is like really know this camera inside and out. There's so many functions on this camera. There's so many ways you can customize it that I haven't taken advantage of. I, the way I use this camera is I set it up. I have a tripod here that I'm talking into and you know, since COVID I haven't shot any client work and I set this camera up. I set it up and it's set it and forget it. You know, I can come down here, turn on the camera, turn on my monitor, and I can start recording, which is something I've always wanted to do. And that's awesome. The bad part is I don't ever play with the settings. I don't have to really mess with that. So I haven't looked at the menu system in quite a while. I was trying to do something this morning, trying to do the update and it kept throwing me off. I was like, where am I going with this? So I haven't looked at the menu system in quite a while. However, one thing with Panasonic that I love is that they have your, like my menu section and the Sony a6100 also has that to where I can just put in the settings that I'm going to use the most in one folder and I can just go there and know all the settings I'm looking for under that one tab. That's awesome. This is a really good camera for anyone who is a hybrid shooter, meaning you shoot photography and video work. The, the pictures out of this camera are still absolutely beautiful. I mean, it, it is a micro four thirds camera, but it is still just really good pictures and, and of course that has to do with the uh, lenses but I haven't been using like the greatest lenses for a micro four thirds I had like my longest lens was a 45 to something I'll have it over here but I you know it wasn't like the, a great lens or by any means like that and this camera is just fantastic the one thing that I love 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 about this camera from a software wise is that it can take 80 megapixel images. Now the way it does that, it actually shifts the sensor over four spots and then stitches those uh, pictures together. So it can do that in a raw format and in a JPEG format, 
which is <laughs> pretty incredible. I don't use that feature at all very often. I mean, I'll be honest, I use this more for video, but I have used it for some product photography and it was way overkill. But if you are someone who needs to get like really detailed shots and have them really blown up, it's perfect. Like you can do, do that and then you can really crop in and, you know, really pick out sections of an image. You can do that in nature, like this would be perfect for a landscape photography doing something like that. The problem is you can't do it on a windy day because if there's any motion, then the um, the image just will look weird. The other feature that I love about this camera is just the sheer amount of buttons and dials. And my favorite, favorite part is this top LCD screen. So when you turn it on here, you can see this LCD screen. And what's also pretty cool is that it lights up. I wish that it was on my two Sony cameras. It's really nice to just be able to look down and see what your settings are. And I have used this uh, not in pitch black, but when it's pretty, you know, dark outside and being able to turn on the light and see what your settings are is really nice. I still highly recommend this camera for anyone who is more aimed at video work. And the reason why I say that is Panasonic's awesome with their uh, video with their the way that they render video shoot like being able to shoot video I mean the Panasonic GH5 is still a camera that people love and you know they really haven't replaced it and this camera to me will be usable you know like that G5 years from now and so if you're someone who's looking to get do more uh, video than photography work this camera is for you However, when you do need to take pictures, you can still get amazing images out of this uh, camera. So after a year, this is the camera that I'm still holding on to. At one point, I did think about selling it, and I actually did put it up on eBay, and it was getting a couple bids. And then I got cold feet, and I, I canceled the sale just because I, I still love this camera. I'm hoping this software update helps with some of the focus breathing. Uh, but overall, yeah, I absolutely love this camera i still recommend this camera to anyone who is thinking about getting into video especially if you're starting like a youtube channel or doing client work this camera will um work you know for many years to come oh the other feature i really love about this camera is this eye cup it is one of the best electronic viewfinders i've ever ever used it is so sharp so clear and the eye cup is so wide you know, if you're wearing glasses, if you're not wearing glasses, this is a great, I mean, it's such a small thing, but it's so, so amazing. I will have links down below to where you can pick up this camera. You can still get it for under $1,000 or just over $1,000 with a lens. I right now have the 12 to 60 millimeter lens, but I will be getting a 12 to 35 millimeter lens, uh, f2.8 here shortly, and I will give, do a review of that lens for you also. Thank you guys as always for watching these videos. If you do like this content, please like and subscribe to the channel. Again, you know, I'm not doing any paid advertisements or anything on these videos, so it does help me out if you can. I do want to hear from you guys. If you own the Panasonic G9 still, what are your thoughts? Are you still liking it? Do you have some of the focused breathing problems that I that I'm seeing or is it just all in my head? I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you again, and I will see you next one. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.